A new warning tonight from a former D.C. leader who says the city still hasn't come up with a critical crime fighting plan. That former official now telling Fox 5 that the district has dropped the ball, failing to engage residents and civic groups to prevent crime. Today, the mayor responded. Fox 5's Tom Fitzgerald has more. Well, the mayor herself recently has described D.C.'s soaring crime rate as a bad year. However, while other big cities have seen crime actually fall by forming civic partnerships, one D.C. former official now tells Fox 5 that the district has worked on such plans that have been slow to roll out and actual strategic plans for engaging local D.C. organizations in crime prevention. Marcus Ellis worked in D.C.'s gun prevention violence office for 23 years. He left D.C. government now works with a nonprofit group called Peace for D.C. He tells Fox 5 that D.C. has been slow to roll out a civic coalition plan in order to fight crime and make connections with neighbors before crime happens. When asked about this today, the mayor rebuffed any criticism. Our investment in that office is pretty amazing. I think we started out with a $5 million investment in that office, and now it's over uh, $50 million. So we're not lacking in people um, to do that work. Well, the latest crime statistics from D.C. police show that homicides are up 38 percent, vehicle thefts are up 106 percent, and overall violent crime is up 38 percent. Only three other major cities, Kansas City, Memphis, and Cleveland, have had higher spiked crime rates than the District of Columbia. Marcus Ellis tells Fox 5, along those lines, civic coalitions and violence interrupters are needed. They work, and he says that the District of Columbia doesn't have nearly enough of them. There aren't enough, and there is um, a, a ample amount of funding toward that type of work, but we need to continue to fund and support our violence prevention workers. Now, I think that when we have the conversation about guns, sure, there's an issue with guns in our city. Now, when she was asked if the district is doing enough to hire police, the mayor pointed towards signing bonuses, hiring incentives to get more police recruits. However, she said hiring police in 911 isn't a D.C. problem. In her words, it's a national problem. Fox 5 at the Wilson Building. Send it back to you. All right, thanks, Fitz. That brings us to our Fox 5 Live Insta poll. We want to know... Should D.C. do more to connect with neighbors in high crime areas? So far, 91% of you say yes. That's overwhelming. No, 9%. You can vote by scanning the QR code on your screen by going to fox5dc.com or by downloading the Fox 5 D.C. app.